All right, this is April, also known as Grandmama. This is Grandmama, also known as April. All right, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the scripture in the Bible. It's in the book of Revelations that talks about no man will be able to buy or sell without taking the mark. Okay, in layman's terms, what does that mean? Everything that the government mandates, if you're not a part of it, you won't be fed, okay? Currently, uh, I get a disability check. I'm not planning on doing anything of the sort, so does that mean my check will get cut off? Absolutely. Everything that's funded by the government will be cut off if you're not abiding by their rules. Now, <clears throat> For the people like me that refuse to take what the Bible says as the mark of the beast. Okay, let me just tell you what you can do once you take the mark of the beast. You can, <clears throat> once you get a uh, barcode in your hand or in your forehead, <coughs> excuse me, you can go to the store and buy the allocated food that they give everybody that has the mark per each month. So it won't be a problem for you if you wanted to say they actually saying that you could even sell a few things. Okay? So in order for the government to take care of you, also known as welfare, which even though I put into the system the government is still taking care of me through my social security disability check. Okay. Eventually, if you don't do what the government tells you to do, like, okay, everybody needs to take the jab. I'm not taking the jab ever, ever, okay? So, yeah, go ahead and cut my check off because the Most High God has obligated himself. He says that he's going to take care of his own, and he never lets me down, okay? So, eventually, I'm going to be living off the land. Uh, I'm probably going to be moving back and forth different places because <clears throat> they are going to be looking for us, trying to hunt us down, trying to kill us. Some people have already agreed to be martyrs because they're not going to take the mark of the beast, okay? So, don't be too content getting your welfare checks, okay? As awful as the situation is in um, New Orleans, and my my heart goes out to them because they really, oh, they're really suffering. Okay, so, <clears throat> but as you know, I've been telling you to get canned goods, a lot of canned goods. Why do you think I've been telling you to get canned goods, non-perishable foods? For cases like when your electricity might be out for two months, okay? So, I'm from Memphis, and uh, a lot of people, not just in Memphis, is this is the government cheese. They've increased the amount of food stamps. So, a lot of the people <clears throat> have purchased hundreds of dollars worth of perishable goods. Meaning, if it's not refrigerated, it's going to rot and decay. A lot of meat, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, okay? The ones that don't have to be refrigerated. So, basically, what people, if, if you experience or might be about to experience a power outage, power outage, now... Keep in mind, I've been telling you that a bored seventh grader can shut down several state grids. That means he's hacking into the system because he's bored and he knows that he can do it. Okay? Now, we're not going to even mention the uh, people that's hacking for money now. We're not going to even mention them. So, 
<clears throat> like hypothetically, Chicago's grid is connected to New York's grid. So once a, a grid gets shut down, it affects more than one state. Because all of maybe Texas is doing its own thing because they're always, you know, the Lone Star State. Okay, <clears throat> but I can't stress it enough. You need to get some non-perishable foods. Canned fruit, canned vegetables, canned meat. So... Add insult to injury. The people already don't have a place to live. Okay? And you know that their food is gone. Even if they try to go back to their houses, the house is going to be stinking, first of all, from the mold and then from the rotten food. Okay? <sighs> like I said, my heart goes out to them. I, I, I just, it's a pitiful situation. It really is. No food, no water, and no shelter. Okay, so now would be a good time. If anybody from those areas are listening to me, you need to call on God. There ain't, ain't no other way around it. You know the government is not... Yeah, I've been through this before. You know the government most of the time don't, don't uh, take care of y'all. Come on. And you might want to consider relocating. Just move to another state. Just move. Just move if you possibly can. But don't go to a FEMA camp. Whatever you do, don't let them say, well, the government is going to give you housing. Get very suspicious of that because <clears throat> the heavy melanated people can survive more than the non-heavy melanated people. So what do you think they're going to be doing to you all at the FEMA camps? They're going to make it look really good. Oh yeah, you got your own this. You got, um, let, we'll just see. Um, what is this stuff here called? I'm trying to let you see. Your your unit is going to be looking like, let's see. What a, I can't show you this right this stuff right here it looks like wood but it's not yeah your your uh fema camp your camper is gonna be just really really nice okay shower they're gonna make it look really good just to get you there but um once you're there you can't ever leave okay you can't ever leave can't a, grandmama can't ever come to visit you because it's it's a camp, like a concentration camp, but you won't know that it's a concentration camp. Do you know what a concentration camp is? Oh, okay, it occur, occurred to me that you might not know. It's like a prison. You do, you get up, everybody get up at the same time, everybody shower at the same time, and then every day some people are missing. Every day people are people have gone missing. And new people are coming in. But the other people didn't walk out. They didn't escape. Their organs are probably being harvested. Okay. The world knows that the heavier melanated people can survive just about anything. Okay. All right. So. They're in panic mode. Because. The melanated people are waking up. This is the time of the return of the gods. What they feared all of these millennials is staring them right in their faces. So, of course they're living in bunkers. Of course they're living underground. This is all straight out of the Bible. They're thinking that they're going to run away from this wrath of God. All of it is really going to get bad for them because God has like okay now it's my turn you've done all of this raping of children selling children uh, destroying mother earth and mother earth is gonna have her she gonna have her day to beat the hell out of folks she's already started you think she's just gonna keep 
taking the abuse? No. Mother Earth is mad too. So, <clears throat> how can you get out of this situation? It's not too late. It's almost too late. But you still got a, one last chance to make it right with your creator. Okay. It's the wrath is going to be by way of fire. All the elements are going to be involved. I've been telling you this. The elements are going to give some countries royal ass whoopings. Okay? And a lot of the residents are not going to survive. I'm trying to give you a heads up. I can see things in the future, whether you believe it or not. I've been telling you about this famine. You know if they're trying to control all the seeds and giving you this hybrid stuff, they got the genuine seeds stockpiled in a uh, vault, okay? But you still can get a few of them. Uh, can't remember the name, but I've told you on another, another video. Another video um, you need to move to the country or, or a rural area. They're making it illegal to plant gardens. I wonder why. Because if you plant a garden, you're going to be able to take care of yourself. And they can't have that. So hide your garden as much as possible. Live near a wooded area. Okay? Get you some guns in case somebody decides they want to act the fool. Uh, and be ready to blow their head off. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, this is April, also known as Grandma. Have no trespassing signs visible. Look and find out what your area says for trespassing signs and have your trespassing signs posted. So that way, if somebody comes on your property, you legally can take them out. Okay. Because that's what it's going to amount to. But on the other hand, me, I told you I don't, I don't carry any weapons. Because if somebody decides to come on my property, um, hey, God's subject to let a bear come and eat them up. Okay? This is what it is. Or a cougar, mountain lion, whatever. Poison the snake, whatever. Don't forget the elements are going to be involved in this. If somebody try to send some drones, the wind is just going to... All of these things are allies. Earth, wind, fire, and rain, they're allies. So they're going to be working together to kill people and to destroy drones. Oh, what is this old lady talking about? Just nothing. Remember me when the drones are getting ready to kill you. Remember what I said. Or, or not. You'll, you'll just know that you're dying. Okay? Alright, this is April, also known as Grandmama. Grandmama, also known as April. I would like for you to be safe. We still got openings. God is still saying, look, I told you you're a God. Why you gotta die? He really don't want you to have to die, but hey, it is what it is. Most of y'all a lot of you all are chasing the bag and could not care less about God. So this message is really not for y'all anyway. Okay? It's for the people that's... I guess I'm talking to the lukewarmers or to the people that have never known God. I got... Y'all got a chance. Okay? So this is April, also known as Grandmama. This is Grandmama saying, Shalom.